Dolby. Atmos. Flex Connect. What is it? How will it work? Will it completely eliminate the need for a traditional AVR system or soundbar? Will it flex for me so I don't have to exercise anymore? Let's get into it. I'll do my best to explain what it is, but just to be transparent up front, when researching this topic, I found that there's not a lot of information out there. Since it was just announced and there are no Flex Connect speakers available yet, so yeah. I will be making an updated video about this in the future when more information has come to light. With that being said, in August 2023 at IFA, which stands for International Franchise Association and is also Europe's largest consumer electronics and home appliance trade show, Dolby announced a slight variation on its 3D audio technology, which they are calling Dolby Atmos Flex Connect. All one word with two capital letters. So cool. In a nutshell, it's kind of like Dolby's answer to Sony's 360 spatial sound mapping. How so? Well, let me tell you, geez. One of Sony's biggest hits in the home theater sector in the last couple of years is the HTA9 wireless home theater system. It has four cylindrical speakers with forward facing drivers as well as upward firing drivers to create a virtual bubble of 3D sound, supporting popular immersive audio formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTSX. But beyond that, Sony claims that you can place the speakers virtually anywhere and their spatial sound mapping technology will still manage to place the listener in the middle of the action. This is great considering most consumers use their own living room as their home theater, which is almost never ideal for precise placement of audio due to the type of floor you have, furniture placement, windows and sliding doors, etc. So the fact that Sony even shows in their promo materials that you can have a mixed bag of speaker placements made it very enticing to consumers who wanted to upgrade their home theater experience. With Flex Connect, Dolby claims the same thing, which you can see on their website. Feel free to place your speakers anywhere in your living area and enjoy unparalleled audio immersion without having to worry about room dimensions, power outlets, or furniture arrangements. Whoa, time out. Without having to worry about power outlets? Okay, I'm pretty sure what they mean there is that it won't matter if you happen to have a power outlet that's not in a convenient place, causing you to have a speaker way in the back corner or something. But what my brain first thought is that maybe these Flex Connect certified speakers that will be coming out soon will be rechargeable. So you won't need to worry about the placement of your power outlets because they only need to be plugged into an outlet while recharging. Yeah, probably not though. I bet like with most wireless speakers, like from Sonos or Sony or Wysa for that matter, Flex Connect speakers will undoubtedly need to be connected to an outlet at all times. But speaking of Sonos and Wysa and Sony, their system still requires something that connects to the TV. Wysa systems require the sound send puck to be connected to the eARC port on your TV, which then sends out wireless audio to the entire system. Every Sonos soundbar has to be connected to the TV via HDMI, and Sony's HTA9 has their little own control box. Ah, but that's not the case with Flex Connect. It works seamlessly with the TV itself. <gasps> when setting up any Flex Connect system, it's the TV that has microphones built into it, so the speakers will send out test tones, and the TV will calibrate the system accordingly. Oh, so I can't just use any TV or speakers? Yeah, that's correct, my friends. If you want Flex Connect, you gotta start fresh and buy Flex Connect specific devices for it to work. Currently, there have been no announcements on which brands will release Flex Connect certified speakers, but at least with its initial launch, only select TCL TVs in 2024 will have Flex Connect tech built in. Although, one big downside of this new tech is that the TV will be the center channel. Yikes. Even the best of the best TVs still can't quite tonally match the audio coming out of a satellite speaker, so I'm not excited about this little tidbit. But other than that, that's really all we know so far. So just to recap, only Flex Connect certified TVs and wireless speakers will work. The TV and speakers work in tandem to properly calibrate and tailor the system to sound its best in your listening space. You can place the speakers anywhere that's convenient around your living room and still get immersive audio. Only select TCL TVs in 2024 will have the tech built in and the speakers themselves may or may not be rechargeable. With that being said, some other questions I have are, what about height speakers? If they do need to be plugged into an outlet at all times, 
Obviously, that's going to mean that all the speakers will have upward firing drivers to bounce audio off the ceiling. Unless you have outlets up high near your ceiling for some reason. But if they are indeed rechargeable and don't need to be plugged in at all times, can I mount height speakers up high and then take them down when I need to recharge them? How many speakers in a system are supported? I assume there will be Flex Connect certified subwoofers as well. How many subs can I have in a single system? So yes, it's still very new, it's still very enticing, but I definitely need to know more. The fact that it eliminates the need for any AVR is going to be very attractive to a lot of consumers out there. A lot of these companies are realizing that home theaters are still on the rise with less people flocking to the movie theaters. So Flex Connect seems like a great way to get even more of your average consumer to invest in better audio when watching their favorite streaming platform or playing video games, etc. And lastly, I am sad to report that it will not in fact flex for me. So I guess I'll just have to keep exercising like normal. Thank you for joining me on this quick intro to Dolby Atmos Flex Connect. Now it's your turn. Who's excited for it? Who needs more info before making any judgments? Who amongst you might hold off on that next AVR upgrade and start investing in Flex Connect devices instead? Let's start a conversation in the comments below, people. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening.